Hello, all of you. Today is the episode on past lives, which of course has many different tributaries um, and outputs to it, but I'm gonna start just with this overall inquiry to the invisibles. And this was brought by a viewer, especially regarding her desire to have more access to the truth or not of, of what she's been or who she's been and how that can affect her, especially regarding different talents that you know we may have inherited in past lives. Where do they go when we're reborn? So I'm gonna go inquire. Like every episode, just sit down, relax, and allow whatever information that comes through that's necessary and helpful and a tool to you to be integrated and received in anything else back into the earth or up into the heavens. all of your fancies it does past lives. You see the past life is not necessarily a life that is existing in a different time than this life. You see there are many many different lives that are coexisting in the same moment. This is because time is a flexible malleable subject with many means and opportunities to flex itself. A past life it regards your soul that has been embodied in its most, how do I say this? The highest capacity and quantity of your soul pieces, when they join together, when they're fused almost in, we call this like, um, the, like a sphere of soul, a soul sphere. So the soul sphere is a sphere that has as much of your soul parts, as much of your energy and your spirit mass and it travels together. Now the soul sphere is able to enter into different bodies, enter into different lives as it leaves through death's door. And ideally during this entry point, there will be a welcoming of another body. You will see that. We're not going to get into the complexities of this process, but we are going to get into the idea that each soul sphere is capable of magnetizing imprints and lessons or teachings or embodied wisdom from the life that it has inhabited, the body, the journeys, the quest of that life's incarnation. And so these imprints are almost like etched on a very small aspects of the soul sphere. And depending on how far away from that lifetime you are, just say the timeline is another 30,000 years. These etchings, these rememberings, they, they begin to fade, but they don't necessarily become undeveloped in their capacity to share if they're inquired with. So what we're saying here and what we're seeing is how can you be able to read these lessons, these stories, these observations, these talents, that have occurred for you in past lives? How can you embody them? How can you regain the wisdom that has taken you so, so much perseverance? Well, there's different ways to do this. Some people have heard of Akashic Records, the memory library, the bank of wisdom, however people refer to it, which is a database, uh, a place where these different imprints in a way are stored. You can almost see it as a, a f place where the file that holds the different incarnations of your soul um, resides. However, your, the clearest file, the most precise file is the one that's connected to your soul sphere, which is the one that is inside of you in this moment. So we, we have a few directions that we'll tell you about in this journey. The first one is to examine what part of your story you are seeking to reclaim. You see, during different past lives, there are trials, there are challenges that have the capacity to strengthen and build your, your personal drive so that you know how to 
continue or to motivate yourself if a situation like that was to arise again. So for people that have just say been in times of hunger in many lives, in this life, because of the amount, the capacity to persevere through the hunger, you might find yourself choosing not to be hungry as much in this life, choosing not to focus on food as much, possibly focus on your, your body or your nutritional needs, not because you're denying yourself, but because you have been taught through previous lives that by you disengaging with the needs, but disengaging with your, your beliefs in what food is here to offer you will actually bring you more happiness. Of course, we are in a lifetime, ideally, hopefully, where you are now in your incarnation, where we are allowed to embody food again. We are allowed to embody these basic needs, and there are actually minerals and com compositions in food that is going to help us regain stability in, in our direction on this planet. So if there is something in your life that you're finding is a block or a challenge for you, a, a cycle that continues, it could be relationship cycles, it could be emotions that you have a hard time addressing or that flood through you on a constant basis. Some people might have spurts of anger. If we're able to track these emotions or ask the question, where does this anger come from? And then go deeper. Is this anger a result of a program instilled from a previous lifetime? And feel into that question. You can ask yourself in your to reveal this into to yourself in a dream and know that before that dream happens, be very clear that whatever your dream is going to show you is part of a soul memory, is part of the clue you're seeking. And so without understanding who you are, you can understand what you experienced, which may be easier. The who can come later if you want to go into details, but the experience and the wisdom that have occurred is more important because it is either shaping your development or preventing you from developing. You see what I mean? So if there is a quality from your past life, a trauma that was unresolved, that means that that might actually be carrying into this life a imprint or a lodged belief system regarding your inability to persevere from something. And so to do this, to follow through with these questions, you need to look into that part of you and say, is this a true belief? Is, has this stemmed from something in my current life? And you can think about that. You can start going throughout your life. Is my anger towards, just say, the government? <laughs> is my anger towards government from this life? Go through it. I'm sure there's a bunch from this life for some of you. But is what you've experienced in this life valid enough for you to have such a rage? Possibly not. In that case, go deeper. Is my anger from the government in a past life? And you might start being able to feel in your body. Do you feel a resonant yes? Like, I think so. Or there's, there's something that's almost itching to, for you to address. So then you can go deeper into that. What happened with the government? How did, how did a power structure affect your life? And so by acknowledging what happened in our past lives, it may give us the seeds to change it in this life. And so the belief structure now would be, I acknowledge that in a past life, I experienced blank. And during this experience, I created the belief that blank which has resulted in me misunderstanding and feeling misrepresented because of when this quality appears in my life and thus being triggered. Those are different ways that you can go about it. And so I feel like with at the end of this one, we're going to just wrap it into a song because that's always the easiest for you. My life's have woven a tapestry of me. 
They have taken their answers, hoping to set me free. That this life that I am living, that this day that I am giving, is full of the tools and the wisdoms that have learned themselves through me. Man, woman, anchor, child, elder, maiden, crone, be wild. All the faces of my lineage, I bow down and pay you homage. Show me just how to reclaim my sense of remembrance, my sense of remembrance, that I may do the right thing for the earth, that I may learn just how to share my worth. Do the right thing for the earth. Do the right thing. Share my worth. Hmm. Hmm. So I hope that was helpful. And of course, if you have any more inquiries, go for it and ask me or put questions on my YouTube feed or you can email me or check out my website, which has a bunch more treats and transmissions and the opportunity to book a session with me. So thank you once again and have a fabulous life on this planet, however you may choose to do so. Aloha.